Head down to Victoria now. To no starters yet. Now they're right. Off and racing, Winx has come out slowly. She'll settle at the back of the field. Best out, one more Zeta. Moss Fun jumped out well and Press Report's gone up on the outside. Just behind them, first seal. She'll settle down fourth, followed by a drift showing some speed from Amicus. Uh, then Memorial followed further back by Supara. Back behind those horses next as they settle down, slightly sweet from Peggy Jean. And Winx, who missed the start, is last of all. Press Report's the leader, 600 out. Leads by a length on Moss Fun. One more Zeta is third, followed by a drift, and then further back in behind them next Amicus Memorial. Now he's trying to get away from the rail on first seal. He got a bit of a squeeze when he tried to come off the fence. Then Supara slightly sweet, Peggy Jean, and Winx is back last of all. Into the straight press report led. Moss Fun's only a length and a half away. He hasn't moved on it yet. Followed by one more Zeta, a drift down the outside, followed by Amicus. First seal's come to the outside now and is starting to wind up. Moss Fun joined now by a drift, who's hit the front first seal has got the last shot at it but it's a drift taking the lead from first seal who's a half a length away here's a boil over a drift has won it from first seal and slightly sweet then peggy jean one more zeta winks was running on late moss fun knocked up from memorial and then uh, further back behind them supara press report and amicus last in a drifts won at number 10 at uh, 41 dollars on track and 53 20 number 10 the drifters first ty england holding off first seal number three ridden by blake shin and slightly sweet number nine will get third And they're off. Well, the drift was moving and she's missed the start. She'll end up a long way back last of all. And coming out well was high above, showing some speed with Candelara. Lucky Racky is going forward, followed by Amicus and Sapara. Then came Abduction and Slightly Sweet, followed by First Seal. Wine Tails was further back as they settled down. Peggy Jean a fair way back and after missing the start, a drift is back near last of all. And Winx is in that group as well. Lucky Racky the leader and shows out from high above. Then came Supara followed by Amicus and on the outside Candelara. Now making up ground is a drift. It's gone up to midfield but it's out about four wide without any cover followed by Slightly Sweet and then came Abduction. First seal in the second half of the field and then came Winetails, Peggy Jean and Winks at the back of the field. 600 out, Lucky Racky the leader. Three quarters high above Sapara Candelara. Then came Amicus followed by a drift and then came Abduction. First seal is about three and four wide. She's out in the better ground and starting to roll forward followed by slightly sweet. Wine Tails was further back from Peggy Jean and Winks coming into the straight. Lucky Racky just in front from high above. Here comes First Seal. She's letting rip down the centre and the odds on favourite. Shot to the front now. She raced about three clear of Supara. Then slightly sweet. She's something special First Seal. She'll win at hands and heels only and First Seal beats Supara. Third slightly sweet just in front of Amicus and then came Winks and Wine Tails followed by Adrift and Candelara. Then Peggy Jean followed by Abduction high above and Lucky Racky has finished at the back of the field. First seal, Blake Shin. Much too good. She was a different filly today. Bit underdone first up, but getting an extra trip today out to the 1400 metres showed great acceleration when he let her rip in the early part of the straight. And that's why she was so heavily backed into 150 because she had class and she certainly showed it there today. Supara will run... Starter's got them all in line. And they're off and racing now. Diamond Valores came out at the back of the field. High above out wide, jump fast and shows out from inside it. Sapara the Grey going up into second spot, followed by Tester Shadow and Hampton Court. Then Diamond Valores is picking up ground. It's gone along the fence now into about fourth or fifth spot, followed by Winks the favourite. Punamu, after jumping well, ends up at the rear now and Haraki's gone past it. High above lead, leads by three quarters on Sapara. Hampton Court was wide, so he's starting to kick up on the outside of high above and high above will now find the rail by the looks of it from Hampton Court Sapara Diamond Valores then Testa Shadow, Haraki back on the inside followed by the favourite Winks a length and a half away and Punamu rails up to join it, down the side of the track about seven lengths first to last and high above's in front, three quarters on Hampton Court, Diamond Valores and then three quarters Sapara, followed by Haraki on the inside Testa Shadow's outside of it, Winks is at the back of the field with Punamu as they round the home turn now, 500 to 
go. High above in front, Hampton Court's come off the bit, trying to chase it. Diamond Valora is trying to push off the rail. And then Supara, followed by Haraki, has got room near the inside. Winks is coming down the extreme outside with Tester Shadow. Diamond Valores is out after the leader. High above, just in front from Diamond Valores. Haraki getting up on the inside. Winks is starting to join in with Supara. It's Winks out wide, starting to sprint up now. She's hit the front 100 out, Winks. And she's put them to the sword. And Winks races away and beats Haraki. And it's close for third between Diamond Valores and Supara. Then came Tester Shadow, followed by Hampton Court. Then Poonamu and last in was high above. Well, she's come with a wet sail down the outside. Winks for Tommy Berry. She sat back at the rear, but and launched there, or launched over the last 200 metres to claim the lead and go on to score. Number six, Winks. Philly by Street Cry. And, uh, of course, she won the Group 2 Furious State. And it looks as though we're ready to run. We're off. We're off. And Miss Interior's got the best of the start from Slightly Sweet. The favourite away well first, Silver. The drift surging forward. Uh, deeper out is Amicus, followed by Slightly Sweet drifting back. Sweet and Speedy goes forward. Uh, further back to Set Square, who's right off the track as well, as they drive up into that uh, first corner. Back midfield in the pink cap is Thunder Lady in advance of Heavens above, then Ballet Sweet. Getting well back is uh, Wildenstein on the fence from Winks, who switched off second last as they negotiate that corner. And they work into the back now, and Adrift takes the lead from Amicus, and the margin is a half length. Rallying through into third down the back is Fenway on the inside of Set Square, and Miss Interiors plonks in fifth. Two lengths further back to Sweet and Speedy. Two and a half further back then, as they go down the back to Slightly Sweet, the Nolan winner. They're followed further back in the field then by First Seal, the favourite up on the outside. Two further back to Thunder Lady, then Heavens Above from Ballet Sweet. Wildenstein winks the well support runner is back second last and Lady Mackin is last as the field starts to string out a bit at the 1,000 metres and Adrift is the leader. Out by a length on Amicus second, Miss Interiors third on the inside of Fenway. Two lengths further back then to uh, Sweet and Speedy who races over on the inside and then came uh, further back to uh, Set Square on the other. Two further back to the favourite first seal is Dead Set Midfield on the outside of Slightly Sweet. Then came Thunder Lady from Heavens Above Ballet Sweet. Well back Wildenstein. Winks is still back second last from Lady Macken as they travel up to the home turn and Adrift is going to turn the corner in front. It's Adrift in front from Amicus. Fenway strides up on the outside into the straight. Adrift being joined by Fenway the outside. Then Amicus. First seal is still two lengths behind them as Fenway races to the lead and draws a length clear from Amicus. First seal is giving chase now but Fenway is a length clear from first seal. Can she get there? Fenway's a half in front. First seal is trying to level up, Fenway under the pump first seal is lunging but misses and Fenway gets the money Blake Shen, Fenway beat first seal, then Ballet Sweet, Thunder Lady behind them from Slightly Sweet, Wings got too far back then Amicus from Heavens Above a drift further back to Wildenstein, Set Square, Miss Interiors and Lady Macken was last to finish in the Vinery Stakes well Blake Shen getting the job done, bumped off first seal to ride the winner $19.80 for the win, three sixty the place. So some sweet justice there for Blake Shin. Defeating first seal has been game in defeat, a dollar twenty, and a Thunder Lady. In. Ready for the Australian Oaks and they're off and they're racing. Gust of wind has flopped out of the gates and will settle down last. And Candelara won the start from Rustic Melody and Winks is a lot handier on the fence. From Wildenstein and Perton's found a gap to drive through on Thunder Lady and has kept Rustic Melody very wide turning out of the straight. Followed by Gust of Wind, then Sweet and Speedy, Ballet Sweet, Cesari. And Cesari has been taken back to last and got a bit of a squeeze up at the first turn as Bowman has Candelara in front from Rustic Melody. Well, Burton's done his job on Thunder Lady in the box seat third. Winks fourth the rails from Wildenstein. Two further back to Gust of Wind from Sweet and Speedy. Then Ballet Sweet, Cesari. And the New Zealand Oaks winner, Savaria, is back last of all as they work down the back. And it's Candelara free striding in the lead by two lengths. 
Rolling Sun Rustic Melody. The Ruffy Wildenstein punches the breeze in third. Thunder Lady right on the bridle fourth. A length further back to Winks has come away from the fence. Gust of Wind takes that position. Two off to Sweet and Speedy. Ballet Sweet to the outside. Starting to inch a little bit closer from Zazali and Savaria is back last of all. Will Candelara backing up from a great win here on Monday. Shows the way by two lengths on Rustic Melody and Wildenstein as they race past the 1200 metres. Gust of Wind going into fourth in advance of Thunder Lady. Ballet Suites caught deep but continues to inch closer from Winx who's got shuffled back having been third in the early part. Zazali improves on the rails. Savara starting to make some headway now going to second last from a Sweet and Speedy as they race down the side of the course and Candelara looking to make all. A length and a half in front of Rustic Melody. Gust of Wind sliding into third followed by Thunder Lady. Then Wildenstein placed under pressure from Zazali. Winks Ballet Suite to the outside from Savaria and back last of all is Sweet and Speedy but Candelara leads inside the 700 metres by length on Rustic Melody. Gust of Wind is getting a lovely inside run as they approach the turn and Gust of Wind has put a head through to hit the lead now from Candelara. Rustic Melody in third. Zazali's making ground on the fence. Winks has got a lift from Thunder Lady as they straighten up. It's Gust of Wind on the inside. Candelara's trying to come back. Now Winks is starting to put in the big strides. Gust of Wind under the whip. Has Candelara beat? Winks is running on resolutely. It's Gust of Wind. England riding for dear life. Winks is trying to pull back the margin, but it's not going to happen. And Gust of Wind is roaring away with the Australian Oaks. Gust of Wind by two and a half lengths to Winks. Candelara third, then Rustic Melody, Thunder Lady, Savaria got a long way back from Zazali, Sweet and Speedy, Ballet Sweet and Wildenstein last and there's about 50 lengths from first to last in the Oaks and an emphatic victory by Gust of Wind, trained by John Sargent. Lovely ride by Ty England, savouring every inch of ground and then taking the inside run on the home turn and put the race in the bag. Brilliant performance by Gust of Wind, taking it out Lovely ride by Ty. Didn't go around a hook. That big field, 18 of them. They stand well, and the gates open. They're off and racing. Now, Winks jumped out okay, and she's going to go back in the second half of the field. She's back third last when they hit the ground, the favourite. And when they settle fully into stride, Sky Limit runs to the lead. Redeem Code second, right or wrong, third with Worthy Cause on the rail. Silver Heels is rattling up quickly on the outside into fifth position. Mary and Jash behind those. What a lovely day on the fence, followed by Roden Drive and Hayward are going around them deep. Then came back on the inside as they go to the top corner is Buck and the Blues. It's back on the inside, followed then by Game of Fame, Allman, Rising Luck, Abduction, Elusive Cat, Chal Jedham. Now two and a half to Winks. There's your favourite back, second last, and Swift Ladies two lengths behind her. To the corner at the 900 metres mark, and it's Sky Limit and Redeem Cove. Code on the outside, and Haywardar. It's a line of three. Worthy cause on the inside from right or wrong. Silver Hills is next, and they're followed then by Roden Drive and Merion. What a lovely day on the fence from Rising Luck and they're followed then by Buck and the Blues. The next is Allman Game of Fame, El Jedham Abduction. A long way back then as they come to the home turn, Elusive Cat Swift Lady. Winks is last. She'll have to come past the 17 of them. Into the straight and sky limit past the 400, kicked away. Worthy cause now went into second spot, about to give chase. Followed by Right and Drive. Allman is next and right or wrong is pulled to the outside to the 200 metres mark and Worthy cause got the sky limit. Allman getting up on the fence. It's Allman and Worthy cause there together with a hundred to go. Look at Winks. Look at Winks. She's come from last. She stormed down the outside. Oh, what a win. Winks got up and beat Allman and Worthy cause in an amazing performance. Right or wrong, just behind them. So too, road and drive. Swift Lady ran home. They're followed then by Abduction Rising Luck. The next time in the race was Merion. What a lovely day. They're followed then by El Jetum, Game of Fame. Sky Limits finished a long way back with Elusive Catch and uh, back there, Redeem Cove, Buck and the Blues and Haywadar is last of all. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Winks last. They're ready. 
And they're racing now, and Winks began pretty well, and Ballet Sweet from the outside was actually the first to come out of the gates. Colin Lill's going to rush up towards the lead. Imperial Ass from the inside began well, and No Tricks is going to muster some speed. When they come down the straight the first time, Imperial Ass and No Tricks and Colin Lill, what a lovely day. Platinum Witnesses next out deep, and Ballet Sweet's going to be in no man's land at the line the first time, trying to sneak over. Then Heavens Above, followed by Exquisite Jewel. Sabrina back on the fence, so they're followed by Rustic Melody as they go to the turn out of the straight. Wink's got a bit of a buffeting there, uh, but she's one away from the fence. Ungrateful Allen's on the rail. Then Zazali, followed by Swift Lady, Anna Fora, and New Long Baby last. Out by the 1400, and Colin Lill is the leader. Ballet Sweet about to stride a second on the outside. Imperial Lass on the fence is in third spot, followed by Platinum Witness. Another length and a half, then to Heavens Above, a little bit right, wide around. Uh, what a lovely day. Sabrina tucked in on the fence and they're followed then by Rustic Melody, Ungrateful Allen midfield on the rails, no tricks as shuffle back and they're followed then by Exquisite Jules Zazali now Winks has got back to fourth last here Swift Ladies on her outside followed by Anna Fora and New Long Baby is last to the 900 metres mark they run and Colin Lill the leader, a length over Ballet Suite Imperial Ass on the fence followed by Platinum Witness, Sabrina is picking up ground over near the inside followed by What a Lovely Day, Heaven above out deep on the track and then Rustic Melody, Ungrateful Allen followed by No Tricks, Exquisite Jewel Winks is on her way forward now they're followed by Zazali further back Swift Lady Anna Fora and Yulong Baby is last, they come to the home turn, Colin Lil the leader Imperial Ass is issuing the challenge on the outside as they come around the bend they're three in front of Ballet Suite Sabrina, Rustic Melody, Heavens above and Winks has pulled to the outside 300 metres to go, Imperial Ass has gone to the lead from Colin Lil Here's Winks. She's winding up and have a look at her go inside the 200 metres mark. And Winks has raced to the lead from Imperial Lass, Ungrateful Allen. And this is a monstrous win in the Oaks. Winks ease down. Three links, Ungrateful Allen. Imperial Lass third from Zazali. Rustic Melody, no tricks. Uh, followed by Ballet Sweet, Yulong Baby, what a lovely day, Sabrina, Colin Lil, a long way back, Exquisite Jewel, Platinum Witness, and they're followed a long way back on the field by Anna Fora, Heavens Above and Swift Lady, and that is a win and a half. Winks, Hugh Bowman for Chris Waller. That is a monstrous win in the Classic. Third and fourth last at the 1,000. She started to come into the race down the side. And she has absolutely given them an absolute toweling in the straight. Wide out attendance climbing in the gates. They crash back now. We're often racing in the Theo Marks. And the Strawberry Boys jump well together with Nostradamus, Ninth Legion handy, but Strawberry Boys pressing on. Messina's right with the leaders as well. Uh, decision time's off the course going forward. It's a real clump of leaders, followed by Hart Test, the Sons of John on the rails. Further back then to Ammon Poor from Boss Lane, famous Seamus. Winks is second last and Turbulent Jet the last one. Strawberry Boy takes up the running of the 800, a half in front of decision time. Messina positions on the outside of Ninth Legion, followed by Vashka just behind them, Hart Tester off the course and pressing forward from Nostradamus, Sons of John. They're followed further back then by uh, Amanpour, who's got shuffle back through the field. Famous Seamus, the rails from Boss Lane. Winks and Turbulent Jet is hugging the rails as they straighten up. Winks is still back last into the straight. Strawberry Boy leads from decision time and Hart Test to the outside. Ninth Legion coming off the fence. Then came Messine from Sons of John and Vashka running on. Strawberry Boy is still the leader from Ninth Legion. Hart Test is out very wide. They're followed a further back by Winks is uh, about five lengths off them. Ninth Legion hits up, goes up to hit the lead from Strawberry Boy. Sons of John's driving through. Winks flying! Oh, did she get there? Oh, Winks has flown at Sons of John. What a powerhouse finish. It's a photo. Ninth Legion and Strawberry Boy have just been collared. Then famous Seamus Turbulent Jet uh, decision time, Messine, Hartesta, Vashka, Boss Lane, Nostradamus, Aomen, and uh, Amanpour was last in. Has she got there? This is an enormous finish by Winks on the outside. Winks flying. Has she got up? Sons of John was burst. Hugh Bowman aboard, Winks is set, Messine goes up. And Sons of John, who almost beat Winks at Rose Hill last time, is the last to move in. 
We're locked and loaded. It's the 150th running of the Epsom and the gates open. The rough and racing Terranado missed the start. So did Messina. And hook jump best with Ecuador. The outside Malice away well into third. Entirely Platinum's going forward from pressing and Sadler's Lake in about sixth. Then sons of John Lachia Valentina is improving on the rails on the inside of Rudy and Winks has caught three wide going to the bend. Further back then to Terranado from Messina. Curamosa second last and Swainess is the last one. Entirely Platinum presses on now and races to the lead, but Hooked immediately comes off the inside with Ecuador on the outside. Two further back to Malice, then pressing from Sons of John. Further back to Lucia Valentina on the inside of Sadler's Lake. A length further back to Winks around Rudy, then Kiramosa. Well back then is Terranado with Messine, and last of all is Swainess. Entirely Platinum at the 700 metres, leads by three quarters to Ecuador. Hooked with cover in third on the outside of Malice. Then sons of John from pressing Lucia Valentina. Bowman starting to get a little bit closer now and winks as they come to the home turn. For Stephen Deeper with Curamosa pulling out in front. And Swainess is getting to the outside. The charge is on in the Epsom. And Hooked and Sons of John have raced up to hit the lead. It's Hooked and Sons of John from Ecuador. Now Winks is starting to close in from Curamosa. Hooked and Sons of John, but Winks is starting to unleash with a powerful sprint. And Winks races up to hit the lead, she shot away in the Epsom, it's all over Ecuador's sons of John Messine for the miners but Bowman high in the irons gives the big salute, she bolts in Winks from Ecuador's sons of John Messine run home into fourth, followed then by Lucia Valentina Malice from Entirely Platinum Sadler's Lake, Rudy Terranado, Kiramosa pressing hook dropped off from Soines, she's done it and another classic ride from Hugh Bowman to do it Winks has taken out the Epsom. That's three in a row for Chris Waller. Three Epsoms in a row. And she was that dominant at the end that Bowman could stand up in the irons and give the big salute. The time, 134.58. She's covered a little bit of ground early. Had to make the move coming to the turn. Kiramosa shunted her even a little bit deeper. But she's been different class in this year's Epsom. Ecuador's Bob for second in front of Sons of John. We've seen the outside will run fourth. Terranado hasn't run too far, far behind and then came entirely platinum. Standing by for the judge to post the numbers. She's going to pay $3.170 on the New South Wales TAB. Just standing by for confirmation of the placings here. They're about to go up with that time, 134.58. Well, she was brilliant in the Theo Marks. And she has bolted up today in the Epsom. 4812 now official with number five in fourth position. They're off. And Winks jumped OK with a cleaner. Hard and reel away brilliantly. He's out having a peep for the lead. Criterion went over their heels at the start. Complacent Arrod are up there at the post. And then Mourinho and Galo shop not far away. Down past the judge and the cleaner has the lead from Arrod. Hard and reel just box seated beautifully right behind them. Then Complacent moving to fourth, followed by Hartnell. Winks on the rail about sixth. Mourinho wide around Galo Shop Criterion at the 1600. Pornichet on the inside of Kermadec and then Preferment. Happy Trails and Faulkner went back to last. Up the side, 1400 left to go and the cleaner has the lead. Just over a length in front of Arrod running second. Hard and Real is third. Complacent in the white cap is trapped out deep. He's fourth and on the improve. Followed by Hartnell and Winks on the rail about four or five lengths away from the leader. They're followed by Mourinho, who's wide, and then Galo Shop midfield. Criteria in the rail, a length and a half to Kermanek Pornache, then Preferment Faulkner, and Happy Trails was now last. A thousand metres to go, and the cleaner is the leader in the Cox Plate. Arrod a little bit keen, second. Highland Real third. Complacent deep out, and then came Winks getting up on the inside to fifth. One in front of Hartnell. Mourinho's been deep. Criterion over on the inside as they run.
on the 800 metres turn. Galo Shop works clear. Kermitic about to go wide. Then Pornichet prefer it. Happy trails out wide. Faulkner last of all. The cleaner at the school, the leader. From on the outside, Complacent and Arrod. Hard and Real is still there from Mourinho. Winks will Bowman's got plenty to give. And he's getting an inside run. And Criterion tried to follow him home. Just had to clip off heels there. Winks got the dream run and shot to the lead from the cleaner. Criterion trying to get going with Highland Real. They're followed by Hartnell and Happy Trails right off the track, but Winks is away and gone round the home turn. Three lengths in front of Highland Real, Criterion, and then came the cleaner, but Winks is well clear from Criterion and Highland Real. Winks kept going by Hugh Bowman. What a win! Winks is bolted in the Cox Plate by four lengths to Criterion. Highland Real ran third, Fornish A4, then Hartnell, Faulkner, the cleaner, Galo Shop, followed by Preferment, Arrod. Uh, back behind them is Happy Trails and Mourinho. Kermadec is second last. Last to finish.